So right now your life is under siege. You're being attacked. You're being attacked by a monster that we like to call fear. You know, good and doggone well, that relationship, that situation that you're in right now, you should have been gone. That person is not treating you correctly. That person is not respecting you. And thus, it's making you not respect yourself. But you've been in the situation long enough and you have this fear of being alone. You have this fear of what will become of you when this person is not in your life. Let me be the first to tell you, that person not being in your life is a gift from God. It's a gift to you. You're just not seeing it. You're just failing to recognize that. This is the moment in time that you need to step out of your comfort zone. This is the moment in time that you need to overcome your fear. They say fear is false evidence appearing real. I say fear is fake energy attacking reality. And right now that fear is attacking your reality. And you're scared to make a move. You're scared to jump. It will sting. It will hurt. Decisions and uncomfortability is what allows you later on to live in comfort. To find your peace, your happy place. But you have to make a decision. Sometimes you just got to take a time out. And when you start feeling that panic and then the anxiety set in. Osa, breathe. Give yourself a moment. Because we all experience fears. But I want you to understand. Fear cannot live in a space that confidence occupies. So it's time for you to start believing in you. Because so many of us have fears. We have fear of chasing our dreams. We have fear of going after our goals. We have fear of making a decision. You have to stop being indecisive. You have to face your fears. And when that fear attacks you, shut it down and attack it back. Listen to me. Thinking will not overcome fear, but taking action will. So I need you to feel the fear and then do it anyway. That's how you attack fear. You set it aside. You accept that it exists. You accept that you feel it. But remember, it's fake energy attacking reality. And that means you have everything with inside of you to attack it back and change the reality to what you want it to be. So do it anyway. You know you need to get out of that bad relationship. You know you want to leave that job. You know you need to get out of that bad situation. You know you have a dream you need to chase, but you're scared to jump. You're scared to fail. You know my motto. I need you to leap. I need you to jump. Put yourself in a position to land softly on your bed of dreams. Because there is no illusion greater than that of fear. So when that fear starts attacking you, Sometimes you just got to have a conversation with yourself and remind yourself where you're going, fear is not welcome. Where you're going, fear cannot come. And pick yourself up and attack that fear head on and get busy living. So whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job you want to do, whether it's a business you want to start, whether it's a dream you need to chase after, don't let the fear stop you. You were put here to be successful not to be running scared like a chicken. Listen, this is your life. You only get one shot. Do not live in fear when you can be living with cheer, happy, successful, and winning. So, face your fears head on. Do something today that makes you so uncomfortable you can't even think straight. Because in that uncomfort, it's where all of the growth happens. So do yourself a huge favor and never, ever, ever, ever trust your fears because they don't know your strength. So I need you to dig deep and attack those fears head on and say, fear be gone because I'm about to win this game of life. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. So poof, fear be gone.
This is a great day to win. Let's go.